wow, there is so much going on in the world of gold and silver right now. A U.S. Congresswoman buying a silver mining company? Russia? Big precious metals news for you. Whether you prefer gold, whether you prefer physical silver, or even the precious metal mining stocks, I've got three big stories that have surfaced over the last week or so that aren't getting the attention they deserve and do point toward what we know we do deserve as silver investors, gold investors, and precious metal mining stock investors yeah, that would be much higher prices. Let's talk about it right now. Russia, Poland, and a U.S. Congresswoman. We're going to cover it all in this video. But what's even more important than that? Yes, that's right. You. You're the most important part of this video of Ron's Basement. It's a big honor that you give me your time. Come down here. Join me in the basement. Welcome to the club you're a basement dweller when you're down here, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get notified every time we put out a new video, which we do most every day. Please give this a thumbs up and super chat. Super thanks are always super appreciated. What did we learn from a U.S. Congresswoman? You know, these Congress, these people in Congress and Senate, they kind of do what a lot of people consider to be insider buying, buying, insider trading. They get the news before everyone else. There are websites that are dedicated to tracking the trades of people like Nancy Pelosi. But wait till you get a load of this and it has to do with silver. United States Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz just bought stock in Hecla Mining Company. Hecla Mining is the biggest and oldest silver mining company in the United States of America. Why is this a big deal? Let's go up here to this tweet from the Nancy Pelosi stock tracker that says, here's why it's a big deal. Okay. She was the second best political trader in 2022. Also, this is her first new buy of stocks since January of this year. And finally, she just happens to sit on the Environment, Manufacturing, and Critical Minerals Subcommittee. If you think the world's central banks have access to inside information, the U.S. Congress and Senate has proven over and over again that they have this uncanny ability to predict where the markets are going to, to, to run. And the fact that she is buying stock in a silver mining company is something that us as silver investors, whether physical or in the precious metal mining stocks, need to pay attention to. It's a very good sign. But with silver, it's not just our U.S. Congresswoman who's making buys. We got big news just last week that Russia, Vladimir Putin, is making moves into the silver market. We can't look at this meme enough. Vlad kicks off the new silver trend. Vladimir Putin, love him or hate him, in a fancy silver suit. Russia's central bank is first to buy silver. OMG. Let's run over to this tweet from Silver Santa. He said, this is a game changer for silver. If Russia's decision to include silver in its reserve portfolio becomes a broader trend amongst governments, it could significantly impact demand and prices in the years ahead. Silver may prove to be a crucial element in the evolving global economic landscape, joining gold as a hedge against inflation and a tool for nations seeking to navigate financial cha challenges. The potential for silver to take on a larger role in the world's financial system is now on the table. Do you remember any other government or central bank in the last two decades announcing that they're going to buy silver? This could be one of the biggest silver stories of the next decade. We'll be keeping a close eye on it. But it's not just them. What about if an ally of the United States, a quote unquote Western government, Western country is bragging about how much gold they're having? going against the kind of the, the the main thrust of the G7 which is to say gold silver eh, it's nothing what if Poland is bragging about how much gold they have let's explore that right now 
We hear all about India, China, the BRICS countries buying massive amounts of gold. But this is really one of the first big stories I've heard from a Western government buying gold, and it is a big deal from Zero Hedge. Poland now has more gold reserves than the United Kingdom. Adam Galinsky, president of the National Bank of Poland, announced at a press conference on Thursday that, quote, on behalf of all Poles, the bank now has 420 tons of gold, making it part of the, quote, exclusive club of the largest holders of gold reserves in the world. We have symbolically exceeded the resources of Great Britain, which has always been kind of a reference point he said, adding that the gold purchases would continue. He also emphasized the importance of gold reserves as an economic stabilizer and state reserve. Quote, in accordance with the resolution of the board, we are striving for 20% of our currency reserves to be in gold. Then we will find ourselves in, in such a close, exclusive club as the best economies in the world. Noting that the, quote, best economies in the world are usually not frontline economies in war zones, referring to the war in Ukraine, the National Bank had made sure to mention that Poland has some $200 billion in currency reserves as well. Quote, none of our trading partners and investors can doubt our credibility and solvency even when a dramatic situation is unfolding around us. What he's saying is gold rules, even when they're on the border of a major war that's going on right now in Ukraine, that Poland can stand, stand strong because they have gold and a lot of it in their reserves. Wow, there is so much going on in the world of gold and silver right now. A U.S. Congresswoman buying a silver mining company? Russia? buying silver as a strategic asset, and Poland singing the praises of gold. Hey, if you want to get your hands on some gold, silver, or even platinum group metals, like all these people and countries are doing, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex right here, P-I-M-B-E-X, Pimbex.com. They're an online bullion dealer where you will find a great selection of precious metals, but even better, you'll find them at prices that are ultra competitive. And I believe you'll find them to be a company you can trust. It's a company I trust. It's a company I worked with before they sponsored Ron's Basement. Also want to say thank you to channel sponsor First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects, gold in the ground in Canada, and Fortuna Mining, a successful operating mining company. They're mining silver and gold right now in Latin America and a lot of gold in West Africa. You can learn about all these companies at their respective websites, to which there will be a link in the description of this video. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.